Hey guys, Rich Page, our Jebethan Timber Frame Company, the main timber framer. Today I want to show you the kerfing method to cut a tenon on a timber. Um, what you'll see here, and this is there's another video for this, this is a jig I made that helps center the tenon. So uh, as you put this on here, you'll see my lines match up perfectly. It gives me a two inch tenon. So I've already marked the tenon as you'll see here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my saw depth I'll set my saw depth to this, then I'm gonna start doing a curve. You'll see my initial cut on the line. I go very slow, pay particular attention to stay right on that line. Uh, that gives me a good clean cut. That first cut is actually a finished cut for the timber frame, so it's pretty doggone important. Then you're gonna see I motor right through curving this off. I'll get in there with a two inch chisel and I'll take out the curve material. I'll get in there with a slick chisel I'll smooth it out, and then you'll see I'll finish it off with a carriage plane. Um, with a carriage plane, what I want to show you real quick, uh, the difference between a typical hand plane and a carriage plane, right here, you'll see in the body of the plane that this is open right to the edge. So when I get to the face that I cut, I'm going to be able to get right on top of that face with a plane and clean it up nice and true. So that's what you'll see when I use the carriage plane. All right, I'm going to get going on this and let's see what it looks like. Put on the trusty earmuffs. And away we go. First thing I'm going to do is set, double check and set the depth. And you'll see my depth here is right at the center of the saw. I'm a little deep. So I'm going to bring this up just a hair. I'm going to be right on that line set the depth, okay? Now I'm gonna get in there and do a cut. to the halfway point stop back your saw out that's going to be my finished cut now i'm going to curve it out let's let's watch this When I do my curves, I like to make sure that the curves really aren't any bigger than a half an inch or so. This one's a little bit big, but it won't be the end of the world. Now I'm going to take a chisel on the line and chisel this out. Trusty bar, two inch timber frame and chisel. I'm left handed, so I'm going to be in your way. Get on the line, tap, tap, tap the roof. And you'll see right away it's going to break out. Tap, tap, tap the roof, stay on the line. And you'll see it breaks right out. Tap, tap, tap a row. Stay on the line or a hair above the line with a chisel. Okay, so now we've got the tenon roughed out. I'll use the hand chisel to take out some of the big uh, part of the curve that's still sitting open. Just kind of break it out.
Okay, so now we've got it roughed out in pretty good shape. I'm going to get the slick chisel. Take off my Edamuff so I don't holler at you. All right, so this is the slick chisel, and this really works like a hand plane. It's fast, and you keep this bottom portion on your work surface, and it keeps your, your cutting with, the, with this chisel very level with the, uh, the surface that you're trying to maintain. Okay, so I've got this relatively flat here. I'm going to come to this side over here. Now, starting off on the flat side with the flat part of my chisel, I'm going to work this material out here. And if you see, uh, I'm getting real close to my line here, and you'll see, you can still see my kerf on the saw. So the kerf in the saw tells you I'm not deep enough yet with my chisel. But I've got this thing fairly flat. I can take a little more out. And yes, you have to have a sharp chisel. That's a given. I've got a Tormek sharpener for chisels, and that works really well. Okay, so now it looks pretty close to what we're trying to get to. Let's finish it off with a hand plane. So again, the carriage plane, I've got this open side, it rides right on the shoulder. And I'm just taking off just the, just the shaving, as you can see, to bring this down flat through. So I'm pretty good on this side here. A little more material on the front here. Now come across this side over here and take this down. Notice that I've got a little bit of line here. I'm pretty much on the line here. And that's pretty much what we have. Now, nobody likes that ratty finish. So I, I prefer using the slick to take that off and clean it up. Now, the other thing is, you see it's a little bit ratty in here. Nobody likes that. So you'll get in the corner with your, with your slick chisel. The other thing you'll do is you'll come across the top, cut it, and then you'll take it off with the edge. And voila, we've got a good roughed out one side of a tenon. What we'll do now is we'll flip the timber, we'll do the same to the other side, then we'll check this. I've got another video you can see. I've got a jig that goes on here for two inches. We make sure the jig slides on all the way. Um, I leave about uh, 60 plus or minus tolerance for the tenon smaller than the mortise. So when I do the other side, I'll put the jig on, double check it, make sure the faces, this face and this face will be flat. But that's the basics of curving out a tenon. Uh, I use a tenon and a quarter saw, bar slick chisel, bar two inch chisel, good old weighted mallet, and uh, you can get the job done. Like and subscribe at the bottom. Thank you.